Chen Emo was told by fortune tellers that he possessed evil energy and committed murder. He inexplicably traveled to a high martial world and became a fake eunuch serving the empress in the imperial palace of the Great Song Dynasty. One day, I finally welcomed my Golden Finger Shushin Simulator. Select talent to complete, do you want to start simulation? Yes. On the first day, the great turbulence arrived, and uprisings were sounded in various parts of the Song Dynasty. The heavens were already dead, and the yellow sky should stand. You are in the palace, which is the safest place for the Song Dynasty. You are ready to be lewd and develop, and then amaze everyone. On the second day, you were promoted from a third-class eunuch to a first-class eunuch by the empress, out of exception. On the third day, a palace maid accidentally discovered that you had an affair with the empress, and you died. Keywords of the novel Immortal Cultivation Simulation Starting from the Queen's Dormitory Without Pop-Ups, Immortal Cultivation Simulation Starting from the Queen's Dormitory Complete Collection Download, Immortal Cultivation Simulation Starting from the Queen's Dormitory Latest Chapter Reading Chapter 1 Immortal Cultivation Simulator You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 1 Immortal Cultivation Simulator My own golden finger has finally arrived. Chen Mo wanted to cry without tears. That's right, he is a traveler because he was accused by a fortune teller of possessing evil energy and committing a murder robbery. Two days ago, an inexplicable soul pierced through a fake eunuch with the same name and surname in the Kanglin continent of the Great Song Dynasty. The reason why the eunuch is a fake eunuch is that he used to have a twin brother. He looks exactly the same. His height and voice are almost the same. Sometimes, his parents will admit mistakes. A while ago, there was a flood in his hometown, where his parents died and the entire village was submerged. Only Chen Emo managed to survive. After his brother, who was a eunuch in the palace, learned of this news, he took leave and went home to mourn. As a result, less than a day after the funeral, the eunuch's brother, who was originally a eunuch, fell ill and hastily left. Because before leaving, the eunuch's elder brother boasted about how good life was in the palace and even said that he was currently serving the empress. The empress has a kind heart and treats him well, and so on so, the original body's head heated up, and after dealing with the funerals of his parents and brother, he changed into his brother's clothes and, by some strange coincidence, entered the palace to become a fake eunuch. I don't know if the original person was infected or something. Three days ago, he had a fever and was sweating. Because the original person didn't want people to know that he was a fake eunuch, he didn't speak up. After taking a few days off, he made a folk prescription and treated himself. Finally, I couldn't resist and left two days ago. And now Chin Majio occupies the nest of magpies. After mastering all the memories of his original body, Chin Emo was so scared that he broke out in a cold sweat. Good guy. The courage of the original body is not ordinary. How dare you impersonate your brother to become a fake eunuch in the palace. She is still a eunuch serving the empress. If this is discovered, beheading would be light. This is to punish the nine tribes. How brave this must be. Oh, it's all gone, then it's okay. In addition, Chenemo remembers reading a news article online once, which said that in ancient times, eunuchs had to have their bodies checked once a year, known as, cleaning up. Once they found that they had grown, they had to be circumcised again. Therefore, even if Chen Emo can keep it hidden in his daily life, how long can he keep it hidden? The saying goes, if you can avoid the first day of junior high school, you can't avoid the fifteenth day. So, these past two days, Chen Emo has been living in great agony, constantly worried about his identity being exposed. Fortunately, the system is here now. Those who have read novels know that having a system means reaching the pinnacle of life and marrying by Fume, it's just a matter of time. Thinking that a better life is about to come. Chen Emo excitedly quickly checked the system. Ding! The cultivation simulator has been turned on. 
Countdown to the Great Uprising. 23, 58, 51 on the 9th. Do you want to enable cultivation simulation? What? Three question marks immediately appeared on Chen Mo's head. This system is not right. Shouldn't it be the property panel, and then ask me if I can activate the beginner gift package? What is a cultivation simulator? Is it that web game? The name Chen Mo is a bit familiar. Still in turmoil. However, at a critical moment, Chen Mo didn't have time to dwell on these matters and immediately chose to turn them on. Ding, the cultivation simulation has been activated. Current available talents. Master Luban, Master of Desire, Golden Finger, and Charm Master. Please select three of the above talents for cultivation simulation. Chen Mo showed a hint of interest. Originally, it was a game like Golden Finger. In this regard, no one understands better than me. Chen Mo selected three out of the ten talents given. Master Lu Ban, Purple. With an IQ of 250, it can detect the opponent's cultivation level. Absolute Desire Master, Orange. To achieve divine skills, one must first go to the palace. After going to the palace, practicing techniques and martial arts has a twice the effect of half the effort, and the cultivation speed is super doubled. Charm Master, Purple. With an increase in appearance, one's own charm is super doubled. There are different colors of talent, namely blue, purple, orange, and gold, with blue being the lowest and gold being the highest. Since it is a game like Golden Finger, Chenimo naturally chooses a good talent. As for self-immolation or something, it's just a simulation. Selection completed, simulation begins. On the first day, the great turbulence arrived, and uprisings were sounded in various parts of the Song dynasty. The heavens were dead, and the yellow sky should stand. You are in the palace, which is the safest place for the Song dynasty. You are ready to be lewd and develop, and then amaze everyone. On the second day, you were promoted from a third-class eunuch to a first-class eunuch by the empress, out of exception. On the third day, a palace maid accidentally discovered that you had an affair with the empress, and you died. Ding! This cultivation simulation has ended. You can permanently retain a talent and solidify it in the real world. The cultivation simulator has entered cooldown. The duration of this simulation is three days. The cooldown time is 30 minutes. Chen Mo's expression was dull. I'm a bit confused. Lied down in a big groove. Having an affair with the Empress. Although the simulator only expressed its consequences in one sentence. But Chen Mo thought about it, putting a green hat on the Emperor is good for Ling Chi. Chen Mo instinctively shuddered. This is definitely the result of being a charismatic person. But it has to be said that this talent is indeed impressive. In just a few days, the queen can risk turning around and flirt with him, a eunuch. However, the sleeping trough belongs to the sleeping trough. Watching the simulator prompt that a talent could be preserved and solidified into the real world, Chen Mo's heart pounded. So the true function of this golden finger is here. Chen Mo checked the details. It's very simple. Firstly, he can choose a talent to solidify into reality after each simulation, and that talent will also be substituted into the next simulation of the simulator, without occupying the field of selectable talents. Secondly, one can simulate countless times a day, but can only solidify one talent into reality. However, before selecting a good talent, you can lock in what you think is good. If better talents appear later, you can replace them. However, during this day, you must choose one well, otherwise it will be considered as giving up. After reading it, Chen Madden became excited. If you brush one golden talent every day and bring it out, and ten days later, you will become one of the ten golden talents, then it's not directly in Wuhu. He saw the dawn of life. After some contemplation, he first locked in the talent of Master Luban. A master of absolute desire must go to the palace. 
As a man, that thing is gone, no matter how strong, what's the point? As for the charismatic master, it's too troublesome. Even the empress cannot resist. He is still in the harem, not to mention colluding with concubines. Even having an affair with palace maids is a capital offense. Ten heads are not enough to chop on their own. Besides, the original appearance is already considered excellent, that's enough. Due to being on compensatory leave, Chen Mo did not rush to work. After the half-dot-hour cooling time ended, he continued to simulate. Pushing Books, End of this Chapter Chapter 2 Hain Heart Sutra You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Hain Heart Sutra Ding The cooling of the cultivation simulator has been completed. Do you want to start the simulation? Yes. Current Available Talents Natural Divine Power, Beast Whisperer, Mentally Impaired, Ten Elements at a Glance, Water Ghost Please select up to three of the above talents and activate the cultivation simulation. Chen Mo looked carefully and frowned. His talent this time was even worse than last time. Quickly, three talents were selected. Start simulation. Master Lu Ban, purple. With an IQ of 250, it can detect someone else's cultivation. Natural divine power, orange. Your natural power is infinite, you can lift a tripod with one hand and crack a stone with one finger. Beast language speaker, purple. Can communicate with animals. Ten lines at a glance, purple. Memories are amazing, things you have seen will not be forgotten. During half an hour of cooling down in the cultivation simulator, Chenemo roughly understood this simulator. The SO.called called simulation allows you to come up with a rough idea in your mind, and then the simulator simulates it based on your idea. Chen Mo felt that it was important to be cautious and summarize the lesson from last time. Don't get too close to the women in the harem. On the first day, the great turbulence arrived, and uprisings were sounded in various parts of the Song dynasty. The heavens were dead, and the yellow sky should stand. You are in the palace, which is the safest place for the Song dynasty. You are ready to be lewd and develop, and then amaze everyone. On the second day, you fed an ant a grain of rice, and from the ant's mouth, you learned that there was a hidden cultivation method in the empress's sleeping hall. You had a thought, but the thought of lewd development did not make you impulsive. On the third day, the empress dowager invited the concubines in the harem to a gathering, but you accidentally learned that without martial arts, even the most powerful genius would not be able to pry into the path of cultivation. In the end, it was nothing, and your idea of sleazy development was shattered. On the fourth day, you secretly sneaked into the Empress's sleeping room and found this cultivation method. It turned out to be the lower-level cultivation method of the heavenly rank. The Feather Nirvana Heart Sutra When you were about to memorize it, you were found dead. This cultivation simulation is over, you can permanently retain a talent and solidify it into reality. The cultivation simulation has ended. The simulation time is 4 days. System cooldown time. 40 minutes. Chen Mo was shocked. Unexpectedly, it is the lower level of the heavenly ranks Hana Nirvana state of mind. Gongfa and Wushue are divided into four levels, namely Tian Di Xian Huang. Each level is further divided into three levels. Upper, middle, and lower, with the highest level being the heavenly level and the lowest level being the yellow level. The Tianjia lower grade is already very high. Chen Mo took a small notebook and wrote it down. Just as he was about to replace Master Lu Ban with innate divine power, Chen Mo thought for a moment and replaced it with ten lines at a glance. The reason is that if he uses a cultivation simulator to memorize the Hain Heart Sutra, wouldn't he be able to practice in reality? As soon as the forty-minute cooling time arrived, Chen Mo began his experiment. Turn on simulation. The cultivation simulator is turned on. Current available talents. Diamond Barbie, One-Eyed Master, and Water Run. 
Please select up to three of the above talents, Chen Mo's face was all black. What strange talents are these? I still chose the three best talents from them. Ten lines at a glance, purple. Memories are amazing, things you have seen will not be forgotten. Diamond Barbie, purple. Feminine body, giant body, but unable to penetrate with swords. One-eyed expert, purple. Blinds one eye and gains the ability to see through. Water escape, orange. When encountering water, one can escape, traveling thousands of miles a day. On the first day, the Great Rebellion arrived, and uprisings were sounded in various parts of the Song Dynasty. The heavens were already dead, and Huang Tian should stand. You were in the palace, which was the safest place for the Song Dynasty. But you know that if you don't have the strength, the identity of a fake eunuch will be exposed, and you will still die. So you secretly sneaked into the Empress's dormitory, obtained the cultivation method of the Hain Heart Sutra, and left the palace with the help of water escape. The second day. You were chased by the palace's top experts and died. This cultivation simulation is over, and you can permanently retain a talent and solidify it in the real world. The cultivation simulation has ended. The simulation time is two days, and the cooldown is twenty minutes. Sleeping slot. Chen Imo directly cursed, he just memorized the UNI Heart Sutra, but didn't take it away. Instead, he put it back in the same way. How was this discovered? Is it a change in the body? Well, fortunately, I have obtained the cultivation method of the Feather Nirvana Heart Sutra. Chen Emo lightly patted his chest, feeling the additional memory messages in his mind, and his mouth curved slightly. At a glance, he hasn't replaced it yet. If you encounter martial arts or something in the future, you can still use it. Twenty minutes later. Ding. The cultivation simulator has cooled down. Do you want to enable simulation, continue, open. Current available talents. Heavenly Cold Body, Pokefoot Grandmaster, and Scammer. Suddenly, Chen Mo's eyes lit up. A golden light flickered before his eyes. The Golden Legend. I have unleashed my golden talent. Holy Spirit of Fighting, Gold. Fighting Madman. Those who cannot kill me will only make me stronger. When faced with strength, I will become stronger. I have an extraordinary sensitivity to battles, can see the weaknesses of the opponent during battles, and have a super strong understanding of martial arts. Chen Imo did not hesitate to choose the Holy Communion of Dojan. In addition to the previously locked one glance and ten lines, we also selected two talents. The Heavenly Cold Body and the Scammer. Heavenly Cold Body, Purple. Born with a cold and icy aura, one cannot live to be thirty years old. In terms of ice attribute cultivation and martial arts, the speed of cultivation is accelerated. Scammer, Blue. What you say adds a bit of credibility. On the first day, the great turbulence arrived, and uprisings were sounded in various parts of the Song dynasty. The heavens were dead, and the yellow sky should stand. You are in the palace, which is the safest place for the Song dynasty. You are ready to be lewd and develop, and then amaze everyone. On the second day, with the help of your spare time for cultivation, you successfully comprehended the Hain Heart Sutra and entered the path of cultivation. On the third day, you successfully infused Qi into your body and became a ninth grade warrior. On the fourth day, you were valued by the queen and were promoted to a first dot class eunuch on an exceptional basis. On the fifth day, you received a generous reward for your meritorious service to the queen. Day 6. A peaceful day. Seventh day. A peaceful day. Dot. On the ninth day. You accidentally got a piece of ice spirit cold jade. Day 10. You have become an eighth grade warrior. On the eleventh day, the empress threatened you to practice double cultivation with her, saying that you were pretending to be a eunuch and were discovered by her a week ago. You, who didn't want to die, agreed. 
On the twelfth day, you were chosen by the Empress and died. This cultivation simulation is over, and you can permanently retain a cultivation talent and solidify it in the real world. The cultivation simulation has ended. The simulation time is 12 days. Cooldown time. 120 minutes. End of this chapter. Chapter 3. Asia the Invincible. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3. Asia the Invincible I'll wipe it. I thought I would keep being obscene and then amaze everyone. It turned out that the Empress had spotted it a week ago. No wonder I have to be promoted to a first-class eunuch. The eunuchs in the palace are divided into several levels, each being a miscellaneous worker with no rank. A third-class eunuch of the ninth rank. A second-class eunuch of the eighth rank. A eunuch of the eighth rank and first class. Leading the class with a seventh grade. A sixth rank attendant. A fifth rank official in charge. From the fourth rank deputy chief to the fourth rank deputy chief. Third grade deputy general manager. From the second grade general manager. Chen Imo is now a third class eunuch. Originally responsible for the lower level of labor such as sweeping, constructing, and transporting the Empress's dormitory. A while ago, when Chen Imo had not yet entered the palace, his former brother started a relatively easy job of drinking, eating, and living in the Empress's dormitory. Chen Imo felt that the palace was also unsafe. We also need to marginalize. After all, this Master Taya still knows how to make up for it. Chen Imo remembered it in his notebook. Try to be cautious and avoid conflicts with others, and attract the attention of the Empress. After finishing these, Chen Imo quickly replaced the ten lines at a glance with the Holy Communion of Fighting. Boom! Chen Madden felt his body warm and radiant. When he traveled over, although his body had recovered due to travel issues, it was still relatively weak. At this moment, he felt that this sense of weakness had completely disappeared. Listening carefully, in the room, one could hear the coquettish laughter of the neighboring palace maid. Not only that, but his vision also improved. The bed was three or four meters away from the corner, but Chen Imo could clearly see the ants crawling in the corner. In Chen Mo's eyes, the whole world seemed to have peeled off a thin film, instantly clear and incomparable. Not only that, he felt that his strength had also increased significantly. For the experiment, he got out of bed, found a hard stone outside, and then returned to the room. With a strong squeeze, the stone instantly turned into powder. Chen Mo's heart was pounding. Just a battle holy body, it has increased one's physical fitness so much. Nine more golden talents, definitely capable of taking off. Chen Mo is full of expectations for the future. Gugu. At this moment. My stomach started growling. Chen Imo glanced at the cooldown time of the Immortal Cultivation Simulator and found that it was just right. He can have a meal first. The Empress's surname is Xiao, and she comes from the Xiao family, one of the seven prestigious families. The dormitory where she resides is called Weiyang Palace. The Weiyang Palace is very large, with high blue and grey walls and blue floor tiles everywhere. The courtyard is surrounded by flowers and trees, covering an estimated area of several thousand square meters. Such a large place needs to be cleaned almost every day. Fortunately, this is the queen's dormitory, and there are ten palace maids serving her. There are a total of forty-eight ordinary eunuchs. Chen Imo probably thought of impersonating his brother to become a eunuch in the palace, probably related to eating. Taking third-class eunuchs as an example, the annual food allowance is four tails, with a daily allowance of about half a pound of rice, as well as some pickled vegetables, vegetables, and occasionally some meat. Of course, in addition to that, there are also some additional income. For example, if the empress is in a happy mood, she will reward her servants with some money, and her original brother can also receive some. Moreover, 
since his original brother was responsible for guarding the door, some people who wanted to see the empress would also give him some bribes. There is still surplus money under basic needs. But the original body is different, often having one meal before the next. Plus, the village has also been flooded. It is understandable to take the risk of becoming a fake eunuch in the palace. Just as Chen Emo was filling his stomach and preparing to return to his room to continue practicing the cultivation simulator, he only heard a sharp and piercing voice coming from behind. Xiao Chenzi, don't leave. Our family is looking for you. A eunuch around fifty years old, holding a dust brush in one hand and carrying the other hand behind his back, walked straight over. Chen Emo immediately recognized Wang Ying, the eunuch in charge of the Weiyang Palace. Immediately bending over and arching his hands, he said, I have seen Prince Wang. Xia Kenzi, what's wrong with you? Why is your voice so strange and you're sick and confused? Wang Ying frowned. Although she said so, she didn't ask further, but said. Look at you, you should be fine. Tomorrow, Emperor Fu Mao and His Highness the Crown Prince will come to see the Empress Dowager. There aren't many thoughtful people. As he spoke, he placed his hand on Chen Mo's shoulder and said, Xiao Chenzi, we see you as a good person in our family. You have a lot of insight, and whether you can seize the opportunity depends on your abilities. The promotion channel for eunuchs is to play with their masters and make them happy to serve them, so that they can seize power. And Emperor Fu Mao and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince are a pair of children of the Empress Dowager. Serving them well is indeed an opportunity for Chen Emo. Thank you, Duke Wang, for taking care of me. Chen Emo took out the remaining three tails of silver from his robe and handed it to Wang Ying. Wang Ying pondered for a moment, frowned, only a few ounces. However, thinking of what had happened at Chen Mo's home recently, she said to him to come and do something tomorrow, and then left with a smile. Chen Emo looked at his back and cursed inwardly. Just talk about seizing opportunities and fortress money. Although he didn't want to seize this opportunity, he couldn't help but look up, but this offended Wang Ying. And Wang Ying can be considered his direct superior. If he offends him, some of it is because he has suffered a lot, and his current identity is also not visible. Once exposed, he will be dead. But soon, he shifted his attention to something else. Because in the moment Wang Ying patted her shoulder, the cultivation simulator stung. Ding, the blue cultivation talent pool has been expanded. He quickly returned to his room and began to check. According to the system description, he can make the system copy talents and include them in the system by interacting with others or things, so that he can simulate more talents to choose from each time. Easy to understand. Wait for the cooling time to arrive. Chen Emo started the simulation again. Of course, optional talents include. Diamond does not harm the body of a boy, Asia is not defeated, and sneaking around. Please include in the above talents, Holy Spirit of Fighting, Gold. Fighting Madman. Those who cannot kill me will only make me stronger. When faced with strength, I will become stronger. I have an extraordinary sensitivity to battles, can see the weaknesses of the opponent during battles, and have a super strong understanding of martial arts. Vidra does not harm the body of the child, blue. As long as the body of the child is maintained and Yang Qi is not released, the body can be metalized, increasing defense. Dong Fang Bubi, Orange. Feminized body, obtaining extremely high cultivation talent. Stealing chicken and mocking dog, Purple. Thieves do not leave empty spaces, theft skills increase, and lightness skill attributes increase. On the first day, the great turbulence arrived, and uprisings were sounded in various parts of the Song dynasty. The heavens were already dead, and Huang Tian was standing. You felt that the palace was not safe, so you found an excuse to take leave and left the palace. The second day. You stole a lot of money, bought food, and then ran to the mountains to beg. On the third day. With your extraordinary cultivation talent, 
you have comprehended the Hana Nirvana Heart Nirvana and become a ninth grade warrior. On the fourth day, it was raining heavily. You found a cave to shelter from the rain, but a demon emerged from the cave. You resisted with all your might and managed to escape at the cost of losing one of your arms. Day 5. You were poisoned and died. End of this chapter. Chapter 4. Simulate how long one can live without practicing. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 4. Simulate how long one can live without practicing nanny. Unexpectedly poisoned to death. Is this monster still poisonous? Fifty minutes later. Once the cooling time is up. Yeah, I don't believe in planning a safe route. Come again. Chen Imo started the simulation again. Locked battle holy body, with three selected talents. Still choose to leave the palace. After all, as a fake eunuch, once discovered, it would definitely lead to a dead end. Therefore, Chen Mo believes that the safety factor outside should be higher than inside. On the first day, the Great Rebellion arrived, and uprisings were sounded in various parts of the Song Dynasty. The heavens were already dead, and the yellow sky should stand. You felt that the palace was not safe, so you found an excuse and took a leave to leave the palace. On the second day, you, who believed in the principles of frugality, changed into beggar clothes and left the imperial capital Bianliang because the eunuch's clothes were too conspicuous. On the third day, you infiltrated the ranks of refugees and headed south. Along the way, you comprehended the Hain Heart Sutra and became a ninth grade warrior, on the fourth day. You, who are kind-hearted, saved a girl. In order to repay you, the girl decided to take you to seek refuge with her cousin. On the fifth day, you encountered an uprising army, and your refugee team was forcibly incorporated into the uprising army. On the sixth day, a young leader of the uprising army forcibly insulted the girl you saved, but was caught by you. In anger, you killed the young leader and were surrounded by the uprising army. In the end, you were outnumbered and died. This cultivation simulation is over, and you can permanently retain a cultivation talent and solidify it in the real world. The cultivation simulation has ended. The simulation time is 6 days. The cooldown time is 60 minutes. I wipe it. This uprising army is not a good bird either. Forcibly pulling people to rebel is enough, and openly insulting women can a team with unclear discipline overthrow the court. Of course, this could also be an exception. But in Chen Mo's heart, he already had no good feelings for this uprising army. Then, Chen Mo refreshed the simulation several times. There are various ways of dying, most of which do not exceed ten days. Not killed by the rebels. He was killed by the government as a rebel. The only thing that lasted more than ten days was not leaving the palace. Then he was discovered as a fake eunuch and died of Ling Chi. After a while, Chen Mo was already exhausted. However, combining multiple simulations and summarizing his original memory, Chen Mo also gained a general understanding of the Song Dynasty. Over a thousand years ago, the territory of the Song Dynasty was dominated by many small countries and sections. When the sects were strong, they could even interfere with state affairs, making it difficult for the people to make a living. Until 400 years ago, a genius emerged and put an end to all of this. This genius is the Emperor Taizu of the previous dynasty. This former Emperor Taizu, similar to the Qin Shi Huang known to Chen Mo, unified the 13 states, abolished all sects and religions, nationalized the world's martial arts and martial arts, and divided them into four levels. Heaven, Earth, Mystery, and Yellow. Unified Text. Unified Realm divides the originally miscellaneous cultivation levels, which are referred to differently by different countries, into levels 1 to 9, with the highest level being level 1 and the lowest level being level 9. And in order to maintain rule, only the meritorious officials and their children authorized by the royal family and the emperor can cultivate the martial arts and techniques above the earth level. 
Any practice of martial arts and techniques at or above the ground level outside of this is considered rebellion. But my life is a bit short. The former dynasty existed because of him, but also allowed it to disappear as a result. After the death of Emperor Taizu of the previous dynasty, due to the lack of local military force, the emptiness of the internal army, and the use of tyranny in the early days of the empire, the people could not bear it. The empire he created quickly disintegrated. Then the living imperial relatives of various countries rose up and completely overthrew the empire. In the end, the most powerful state of Zhao ate the fruit of this victory and established the Great Song Dynasty, known as the Great Song. The system mostly adopted the previous dynasty. Most importantly, it relaxes the control of martial arts and martial arts. Established two factories, East and West MMM. This script feels a bit familiar. It was already dark, and after a series of struggles, Chenemo also felt a bit tired. Therefore, after recording all the information he had simulated and found useful in his notebook, he fell asleep. In his dream, Chenemo relied on a cultivation simulator to become a top dot notch master, and then killed everyone in all directions, stunning everyone, including the sleeping empress and the sleeping princess when I stayed overnight at the phoenix bed and kissed the empress. The deceased emperor suddenly crawled out of the ground and strangled the dog man and woman to death. A beautiful dream turned into a nightmare, and Chen Emo was immediately awakened with a cold sweat covering his forehead. At this moment it was discovered that the sky had already begun to brighten. Pop! I must have read too many novels, and my life may not be guaranteed. In my dream, I thought about sleeping with the queen. Chen Emo slapped me. Bastard! Take advantage of the early morning sky. Chen Emo plans to simulate again. The cooldown time has already been refreshed, and now it is considered the second day. According to the description of the cultivation simulator, I can obtain my own second talent. Chen Emo did not immediately start simulating, but instead analyzed and planned to change his approach. He felt that the reason why he was replenished by the Empress was probably because he had entered the realm and was a cultivator, as well as because he was a body of heavenly coldness, which contained a cold and icy energy that was useful to the Empress. As for the ice spirit cold jade that he unintentionally obtained, Chenimo felt that it should have been arranged by the Empress. Of course, it could also be due to the Holy Communion of Fighting. Therefore, in this simulation, he is wearing the Holy Communion of Fighting, not practicing, to see if his holy communion of fighting will be discovered by anyone. Will it still be recruited by the queen? How long will one discover their fake eunuch identity? By the way, learn more about the palace and learn more about martial arts and martial arts. So. The ten talents given by the system this time, Chenimo selected three inconspicuous blue talents, combined with the solidified battle holy body on the first day, to start the first simulation on the second day. On the first day, the Great Rebellion arrived, and uprisings were sounded in various parts of the Song dynasty. The heavens were already dead, and the yellow sky should stand. You are in the palace, which is the safest place for the Song dynasty. As a fake eunuch, you just want to live well. On the second day, you acted as a eunuch honestly, listening less and doing more, familiarizing yourself with the environment of the Weiyang Palace. On the third day, the Empress Dowager invited the concubines of the harem to a gathering. You were praised by the Empress Dowager for your outstanding appearance. You were very scared and bent lower. On the fourth day, you deliberately made your appearance look a bit ugly, but no one noticed. On the fifth day, news of the rebellion spread to Bianliang, shocking the capital. The emperor was furious and executed several people, immediately sending a large army to suppress it, end of this chapter. Chapter 5 Small Mirror You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 5 Small Mirror On the sixth day, the prefect of Nanyang failed to suppress the rebellion and was killed by the rebels, leading to the fall of Nanyang on the seventh day, news of Nanyang city being occupied by rebels spread to the capital, causing great shock to the court. 
Someone recommended the second-rank expert Huang Fu Hao to lead troops to quell the rebellion and appoint him as the left middle general on the eighth day, Huang Fu Hao arrived in Nanyang and broke through three cities in a row, on the ninth day, Huang Fu Hao defeated the main force of the Nanyang rebel and recaptured six more cities. Day 10. Collect eight more cities. On the eleventh day, all thirty-two cities in Nanyang County were taken back. Huang Fu Hao's power shook the world on the twelfth day, upon receiving a good news in the capital, the emperor was overjoyed and immediately appointed Huang Fu Hao as the left general. That night, a celebration was held in the capital. Because you deliberately painted an ugly appearance, you were once again noticed by the empress dowager and asked for your help, but she refused on the thirteenth day. You were promoted to a second dot class eunuch, and the empress told you not to pretend to be ugly anymore. On the fourteenth day, you discovered a big secret about the emperor. The emperor was actually unable to maintain his position, and every night he stayed in the harem was just a show. The emperor practiced martial arts and had not been able to become a woman for three years. I don't know why, but when you heard this news, you were a little excited on the fifteenth day, Huang Fuhao was assassinated on the 18th day, Nanyang was once again captured by the rebels on the 19th day, the emperor became furious and executed many palace maids and eunuchs with his staff. You, who knew the news, trembled with fear on the 20th day, the empress suffered injustice from the emperor and came back crying incessantly. Later, she even asked you to pinch her shoulder. You are afraid and anxious, but you dare not disobey the queen's orders. So, your eunuch identity was not discovered on the 21st day. You were promoted from a second dot class eunuch to a first dot class eunuch, and for several days, you were promoted twice in a row. You became a popular figure in front of the queen. On the 22nd day, you were held in resentment by Wang Ying for not showing filial piety to him this month. You, who were already somewhat swollen, reported Wang Ying's situation to the queen, so Wang Ying was transferred out of the Weiyang Palace. That night, the Empress asked you to pinch her shoulders again. At this moment, you have one of the three major illusions of life, feeling that the Empress likes you a bit. So when pinching your shoulders, you deliberately took advantage of the Empress. Seeing that you were not noticed, your illusions became increasingly strong on the twenty-third day, the Queen asked you to give her a massage, but you agreed and ate the Queen's tofu again. Because it was too much, you were killed by the queen's palm, this cultivation simulation is over, and you can permanently retain a cultivation talent and solidify it in the real world. The cultivation simulation has ended. The simulation time is 22 days. The cooldown time is 220 minutes. Chenemo, dot. No, come out of the system. Do I have the courage to take advantage of the empress by risking my life? And my general idea is not, go, how did you inflate my simulation? Ding. This system is based on the host's thoughts, personality, and other factors as a reference, and then simulates the direction. The reason why the host takes advantage of the queen and later expands is entirely due to the host's personality. Chenemo, dot. Defamation. It's slandering me. Not only defamation. You still insult me. Am I such a lascivious person? However, during this simulation, he also received several very useful pieces of information. On the sixth day of the great turmoil, Nanyang will fall. Nanyang is a county with over thirty cities, and even Nanyang has fallen, which shows how serious this uprising is. Secondly, what kind of ghost is this noble consort? Do you want me to die? Because the original body had only been in the palace for a few days, even if Chenemo inherited the memory of the original body, there was no impression of the noble consort in his mind. Well, you also need to stay away from the noble consort. Of course, the most important thing is that the emperor was unable to handle personnel. For some reason, Chenemo grinned inexplicably. I am a fake eunuch, the emperor is a real eunuch. Being unable to handle personnel matters is like being a eunuch, isn't it? But how was this secret discovered? 
the cultivation simulator can only be summarized in one sentence, and there is no specific explanation on how it was discovered. The question I had previously set for myself has now been answered. The holy communion of fighting should not be discovered. After all, there were so many experts at the celebration that no one noticed him. Also, if you don't cultivate yourself, it seems that you won't be recruited by the Empress. The reason why I died in this simulation is that I took advantage too much. As for how long his false eunuch identity will be discovered, there is currently no answer. However, as long as you keep a low profile and live for 10 days, there should be no problem. So. Do you want to practice now? I also have the Hain Heart Sutra myself. After careful consideration, Chen Emo gave up. You must develop a talent that can hide your strength, or find a martial arts technique that can hide your strength, so that you can practice with peace of mind. Hong, Hong, are you awake? Wang Gonggong asked me to call you. At that moment, the door knocked and a seductive, childlike voice sounded outside the room. Chen Emo was taken aback. I immediately realized that I was calling myself. My original brother's name is Chen Hong. But others call him Xia Kenzi and Xia Hongzi. Hong, this is his first time listening. In my memory, there was no one who called him Brother Hong. Chen Emo inexplicably became a little nervous. If this person were an acquaintance of his original brother, it wouldn't be good to discover his identity as a fake eunuch. He cleared his throat and deliberately suppressed his voice, making it a bit sharp. Wake up, what's wrong? Hong, it's almost time. The Empress is getting up, the person said. Upon hearing this, Chen Mo's face changed and he remembered what the old man Wang Ying had said to him yesterday. He didn't dare to delay any longer, hastily tidied up, and then got up to open the door. As soon as the door was opened, a small eunuch dressed in a white and pure appearance arrived. Judging by his appearance, he was only fifteen or sixteen years old. When Chen Emo came out, he even flattered and called out, Brother Hong. Well, I feel a bit dizzy and don't remember anything, are you? Chen Emo had no impression of this person at all. Brother Hong, I am a little mirror. A while ago, I also cleaned the Empress's bedroom with you. The eunuch, seeing that Chen Hong did not recognize him, anxiously recounted their past. He had heard that Chen Hong was valued by the Empress Dowager, and suddenly went from an ordinary eunuch who did dirty and tiring work to a caring person who served the Empress Dowager in her daily life. Although there are many eunuchs in the Weiyang Palace who serve the Empress, there are only a few eunuchs who can follow and serve her. Although Chen Hong is now only a third-class eunuch. But judging from the little mirror's understanding of Chen Hong, he will definitely climb very high. So at this point, the little mirror must flatter him well. Therefore, the title changed from Xiao Qinzi to Hong Gu. If it's not that abrupt as you don't want to appear. He even wants to call Grandpa Hong. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 I am surprisingly a hero. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 I am surprisingly a hero the Empress will get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. That is the Mao hour. After the palace maids dressed and adorned the Empress Dowager, she had to go and bow to the Empress Dowager. After bowing, a group of concubines came over to bow to her as the Empress Dowager. Afterwards, it's time to have breakfast. During this period, Chen Mo's job was to bring hot water to the Empress Dowager. After the palace maids served the Empress Dowager to dress up, if the Empress did not let him follow, he would have to prepare breakfast. As the queen, she has her own small kitchen and can cook whatever she wants in advance. The place where Chen Emo currently resides is the maidservant's room in the Weiyang Palace. After being favored by the Empress, he lived alone in a room. Before that, like the little mirror and the others, he slept in a large bunk. The maidservant room is located on the south side of the Empress's dormitory, passing through two long corridors to reach the palace. Strictly speaking, today is Chen Mo's first time working as a eunuch or serving the queen. 
His heart is pounding and full of anxiety. According to the little mirror, all one needs to do is bring the hot water that has been prepared into the outer hall of the sleeping palace, and then have the empress's personal palace maid bring the hot water into the inner hall. But when Chen Emo carried a basin of hot water into the outer hall, he didn't see any palace maids, only the fragrant sandalwood fragrance swirling around the room. Although the inner room is only covered by a pearl curtain, it would be disrespectful to enter without the empress's permission. Mild cases can result in eating dozens of large plates, while severe cases can lead to losing one's life. He is not the factory lord. In the backyard of this deep palace, the life of the eunuch is like an ant. Just when he was at a loss, Wang Ying bent his waist at fifty degrees and hurriedly walked in with a palace maid. In his sharp voice, he whispered, Little Chen, has the empress stood up yet? Chen Emo was taken aback for a moment, but I didn't go in again. How do I know? Chen Emo shook his head and glanced at the palace maid behind Wang Ying. She is truly a palace maid who can enter the Weiyang Palace. Her beauty is definitely impressive. That's good, Wang Ying breathed a sigh of relief and immediately turned to the palace maid behind him, Kair, why don't you go in quickly? After bowing and nodding, the palace maid named Kair took hot water from Chen Mo's hand and walked in. At the moment of meeting Chen Mo's gaze, Kair was slightly surprised and a hint of shyness appeared on her face. Looking at Kair's back, Chen Mo felt a bit helpless. Being too handsome is also a sin. No, I seem to remember that the empress's personal palace maid was not called Kair. Although he was puzzled in his heart, Chen Mo did not ask Wang Ying with a meticulous mind of listening less, doing more, and inquiring less. But if he doesn't ask, it doesn't mean Wang Ying doesn't say. Looking at the confusion in Chen Mo's eyes, Wang Ying whispered, as someone around the empress, you will need to know sooner or later. Our family will tell you now that during the ugly season, your majesty came to the Weiyang Palace. Qing'e wanted to seduce your majesty, but ended up being executed by your majesty's staff. Chen Emo, dot. Good guy. As far as he knows, the emperor he is in is no longer capable of handling personnel. Go seduce him at this moment. Isn't it seeking death? However, there are many palace maids in this harem who want to fly up to the branches and become phoenixes. It's just that many people suffer from not having a chance. Chen Mo showed a look of fear. Seeing Chen Mo's frightened expression, Wang Ying snorted lightly and immediately said with a hint of pride, Don't say that our family doesn't remember you. When Emperor Fumao and His Highness the Crown Prince come this morning, we will specially arrange for you to be served inside. If others want this opportunity, we won't give it to them yet. I really appreciate NM, Chen Mo's mouth twitched and he cursed inwardly, but his face still smiled and said, Thank you very much, Grandpa Wang. Pounds. Suddenly, the sound of porcelain falling and shattering came from the inner room, followed by cries and pleading for mercy. Empress, forgive me. I didn't mean to, Empress, forgive me. Upon hearing this, Wang Ying and Chen Mo's faces changed at the same time. You wait here, let's go take a look first, Wang Ying said, then lifted the pearl curtain and walked in. Chen Emo nodded. Quickly, Wang Ying's scolding of Kai Er came from inside, followed by a pleasant voice like a yellow warbler. Wang Ying, this palace asked you to find someone thoughtful, so why don't you find such a clumsy person to fool this palace? I dare not, Empress forgive me. I usually see Kair's work being quick and think she is a thoughtful person, but I didn't expect it. Forget it, quickly bring a new basin of hot water to our palace. Last night's incident already caused our palace to wake up late. If it takes up time, we can't spare you. Yes. Then, Wang Ying hurriedly retreated and asked Chen Emo to fetch another basin of hot water. Chen Emo followed suit. Because he was afraid that the Empress would really get angry, Chen Emo used the fastest speed possible. When he arrived at the palace, Wang Ying allowed himself to enter the inner hall directly. When Chen Emo saw Empress Xiao, he finally knew why he had that dream. The saying goes, 
day has thoughts, night has dreams. Although Chinimo has never seen the Empress with his own eyes, he has seen her in person. So dreaming YY is also in the process of cleaning up. Now Chinimo has also seen it, which is also his understanding. I saw a luxurious and graceful beauty sitting in front of the dressing table, wearing a simple and easy to manage hanging cloud bun, with a slender epigastrium exposed outside, paired with a sheepskin jade bracelet. Upon closer inspection, her skin was even milder than a bracelet. A pair of sparkling apricot eyes, so beautiful that it's hard to draw or describe. The face looks very young, but the plump snow dot white body is full of mature charm. Slightly pursed her lips, full and moisturized. With a blink of her eyes, she was charming and charming. No one could have imagined that such a stunning beauty would be the mother of two children. Chen Emo instinctively swallowed his saliva. In my heart, I have a heroic demeanor. Holding down the restlessness in his heart, Chen Emo dared not look anymore. After placing hot water on the nearby table, he was about to respectfully retreat, but was stopped by the queen. Xia Hongzi, have you recovered from your illness? Xiao Yinxi asked with a hint of concern. Upon hearing this, Chen Emo, as well as Wang Ying and Kaier next to him, were taken aback. The Empress actually cares about a little eunuch. Chen Mo's heart was thumping. Is there any little secret between his original brother and the Empress? Chen Magong said in a respectful voice, Thank you very much for your concern, Empress Dowager. Thanks to your blessings, I have already recovered from my illness. That's good, the pastry you made for our palace a while ago was very delicious. Our palace is a bit greedy, and it happens that Fujin and Chong'er are coming this morning. You can make some more, said Xiao Yunxi. Dot. Chen Emo is foolish. The brain melon seeds are buzzing. He didn't know what kind of pastry his original brother made. That's it, barbecue. What's wrong? Is there a problem? Xiao Yinxi frowned slightly when Chen Emo didn't answer. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Birthday Cake You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Birthday Cake Well, I would like to inform you, madam. A few days ago, I went home and learned a novel pastry recipe. I would like to give it to madam and the two his highnesses to try. I wonder what madam thinks. Chenimo bowed and said. Cold sweat has oozed from the back. Is that so? Xiao Yinxi pinched her snow dot white pointed chin with both fingers and immediately said, then let's make both types of pastries. Chen Emo dot. Empress, you may not be aware that the pastry I made for you before was quite complicated, and some ingredients needed to be prepared in advance. If you make both, time may not be enough. Chen Emo swore that his brain had never spun so fast like it does now. As for the novel pastries he mentioned, they were naturally from the previous life of Blue Star. Xiao Yunxi looked deeply at Chen Emo. Chen Machiang didn't dodge his gaze, and when he couldn't resist in the end, he said, Madam, if it's really not possible, I'll make two types of pastries in a hurry. No need, just make the novel pastry you mentioned, said Xiao Yunxi. No. Chen Emo breathed a sigh of relief in his heart. I am very optimistic about you, don't let me down. Xiao Yunxi stood up and raised her jade hand. Chen Emo thought he needed to help himself, so he quickly stepped forward and grabbed Xiao Yunxi's jade hand. Ding! The orange talent pool has been expanded. Bold! Wang Ying was so scared when she saw this scene that her soul was about to come out. She immediately shouted at Chen Emo, Little Chinzi, what are you doing? Isn't it necessary for a servant to help? Chen Emo felt numb. The body of Empress Dowager's daughter is so bold that someone with no roots in your heart can touch it. Come on, Wang Ying's cold sweat broke out on his forehead. After all, he was still in front of Empress Dowager yesterday, and praised Chen Emo a few times. Unexpectedly, this kind of thing is happening now. If your majesty finds out, Puchi. 
Xiao Yinxi let out a burst of laughter, then waved his hand and said, Wang Ying, nothing's wrong. Wang Ying nodded and immediately shouted again at Chen Emo, Empress Dowager has a kind heart and forgives your sins. Thank you, Empress Dowager. Thank you, Empress Dowager, Chen Emo said nervously, feeling extremely resentful of the Qin Dynasty drama. That's right, what he did just now was exactly what he learned from Qing Palace Opera, thinking that the Empress wanted to help him on her own. All right, you all go down first, said Xiao Yunxi. The maidservant is resigning X3. Outer Hall. Xiao Qinzi, you don't want to live anymore. Even if you don't want to live, don't let our family get involved. How dare you touch the daughter's body? Wang Ying scolded Chen Emo for a moment. Chen Emo listened honestly and then asked, What was that lady just now? Let Kai Er take a towel, Wang Ying said irritably, then looked at Kai Er again and scolded her, saying, Kai Er, you too. You don't have any vision at all. If it weren't for the kindness of the Empress Dowager, if it weren't for the two masters, Princess Yu and Princess Qing, you would have died with a cane long ago. After listening, Kai er felt extremely anxious and fearful. But Wang Ying didn't finish speaking these words yet, and then he cursed at Chen Mo again, saying, Did your mind become foolish this time you went back? This rule is not clear yet, and you still need someone else to teach you. Wang Gonggong said so, Chen Mo also felt a wave of fear. All right, you too, listen to me clearly. Heaven knows and earth knows what happened just now. You know, I know, she knows. If you don't want to die, it's best to be strict with our family. Wang Ying said sternly. I'm brave. I'm too timid to say anything. The little girl was so scared that tears were about to come out. Chen Emo also nodded. Do he dare to say things that concern his life? Upon hearing their assurance, Wang Ying's face softened slightly and he said to Chen Emo, Our family will let Xia Jingzi help you with the pastry matter. We must handle this matter well. No. Chen Emo nodded and immediately said, Wang Gonggong, is there anything special about the Crown Prince and Emperor Fumao coming over? I'll also prepare for it. You don't know. Wang Ying looked at Chen Emo in confusion. What do you know? Chen Emo looked confused. If we don't include his original memory, Chen Emo is just a novice in this area. In addition, his understanding of the world is limited. In his previous life, his understanding of the harem was limited to movies and TV dramas, only knowing what. Today is the birthday of His Highness Empress Dowager, said Kai er in a low voice beside her. Birthday. Chen Emo was stunned again. Why didn't you see any decorations? The Empress is concerned about the world and does not want to make a big fuss over her daughter's birthday, causing harm to the people and wealth. Therefore, three years ago, she ordered people to simplify everything during this event. Wang Ying said. Oh, Chen Emo nodded. Then, Chen Emo and Xiao Jingzi went to the small kitchen in the Weiyang Palace. It was said to be a kitchen, but it was larger than any kitchen Chen Emo had ever seen in his previous life, with all the ingredients and utensils inside. Brother Hong, what do you want us to do next? The little mirror flattered. In addition to the small mirror, Wang Ying also arranged for two third-class eunuchs to assist him. Uh, little mirror, you beat the eggs. That, you. My name is Xiao Lizi. And you. My name is Xie'er. Okay, Xiao Li, go prepare the flour and sugar. Xie'er, you go prepare some milk. Chen Mo arranged the work for each of them one by one. Then he reminded the small mirror, saying. Remember to separate the egg white from the egg yolk. Beat the egg white longer to see the white foam. That's right, what Chen Emo needs to make is a birthday cake. When he was in college, he worked part dot time at a cake shop and learned the steps to make a birthday cake. Adding a birthday cake is indeed quite unique. No. Follow Chen Mo's instructions with the small mirror. Hong, there's no cow milk. Is it okay to have sheep milk or deer milk? 
Sierra looked for it and said. Uh, let's use sheep's milk. Chenimo has never tried it before, I don't know if it's possible. But the principle is similar, it should be possible. First, add a small amount of oil to the sheep's milk, stir well, then add flour and stir well Chenimo began to operate step by step based on his memory. During this process, the talent pool has also been significantly expanded. But those in contact are all ordinary eunuchs, and their talents are all blue talents. It took nearly three hours. Chenimo finally made a three-dot-layer birthday cake. Because there is no chocolate. Chenimo used the unique fruits of this world to decorate. Palm, what's the name of this pastry? It's my first time seeing it, it's so beautiful, said the little mirror. This is called a birthday cake, Chen Emo smiled. Birthday cake. The little mirror lit up and said, good name. Zaya Kenzi, have you finished the pastries? Wang Ying came over to urge. End of this chapter. Chapter 8. Exploration from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8 Exploration from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Both Your Highnesses are here, waiting to eat the pastry you made. Wang Ying walked in with a brush in her hand, her waist straight and looking down at everyone. Wang Gong Gong. Everyone was bowing and shouting, so Chen Imo couldn't be the one who was independent. He also bent down and said, Wang Gong Gong, it's already done. Chen Imo pointed to the birthday cake on the table. Is this the kind of unique pastry you're talking about? Wang Ying circled around the birthday cake and then said, It's quite unique, but it's so big. How do you eat it? We need to cut with a knife. Chen Emo took out a wooden knife that had already been made and showed it to Wang Ying. Well, let's take it over. Wang Ying asked a eunuch to eat a little bit, waited for about 15 minutes, tasted a little more on her own, and after not damaging the overall beauty of the birthday cake, let Chen Emo take it over. No. Chen Emo narrowed his eyes slightly, then it was a poison test. There are so many rules in the palace. The original body really caused him great harm. If it continues like this every day, he dares to guarantee that he will never survive the great turmoil in nine days. Chen Moyuan thought that if Wang Ying had been tested, it would be gone. As a result, when I arrived outside the Empress's sleeping palace, I found four women dressed as guards standing outside, each with a heroic and unique charm. Chen Mo arrived outside the hall and was stopped directly. A expressionless woman walked up, took out a leather bag from her arms, and then took out a silver needle from the bag. She poked the cake and quickly placed it under the sun to look at it. Until the silver needle did not change color, he said, go in. Chen Emo breathed a sigh of relief and walked in trembling. Even if this cake is fine, being messed up like this would still be terrifying. As soon as I entered the outer hall, I heard a burst of playful laughter coming from inside. There was a delicate laughter that made Chen Emo bask in the spring breeze, and his voice was like that of a lark. Who's outside? Just as Chen Madden took a step, a slightly subdued voice came from the inner hall, and the laughter and conversation inside also stopped. Is it Zaya Hongzi? Xiao Yunxi's voice also rang out immediately. Report to Empress Dowager, it's a servant. The pastry you requested is ready, Chen Magong said. Come on in. No. Chen Emo took a deep breath, lifted the pearl curtain, and walked in holding the birthday cake. As soon as I lifted my eyes, what caught my eye were the beautiful women of all sizes on the horizontal chair. The larger one is Empress Xiao. The younger one should be Empress Fumao. The girl and Empress Xiao have a certain resemblance. She is dressed in heavy makeup, with willow eyebrows and apricot eyes, fair skin as jade, and graceful demeanor. She is about fifteen or sixteen years old. Her gaze turns to her, and her red lips slightly pout. Mother, is this the little eunuch next to you? How handsome! Upon hearing this, Chen Emo suddenly shuddered and bent lower, blocking himself from the cake. 
M bastards, this woman is causing harm to me. Xiao Yunxi smiled and said, Fujin, you scared him. Hm mother, how did I scare him even though I was praising him? Zhao Fu's golden face showed a puzzled expression. Without explanation, Xiao Yinxi looked at what was in Chen Mo's hand and said, Xiao Hongzi, is this the pastry you're talking about? It's really quite unique. Empress Qi, that's right, Chen Mo said. Hmm, please submit it. No. Chen Mo walked up quickly without daring to look up. As he was about to put it down and leave, he was stopped by Zhao Fujin and said, Xiao Hongzi, this pastry is the first time I've seen it in my palace. Do you have a name? Chen Mo glanced up and then lowered his head, saying, I would like to inform His Highness Empress Dowager that this pastry is called a birthday cake. Birthday cake. Zhao Fujin's eyes lit up. Birthday cake. Upon hearing the name of the pastry, Xiao Yunxi couldn't help but be taken aback and immediately said to Chen Mo, Zai Hongzi, you have a heart. This is what a servant should do, Chen Mo said. He doesn't want to be in the limelight. I was completely pushed to this point. There's nothing we can do if we don't leave. He only knows how to make a few types of pastries. And only birthday cakes can be sold. Zai Hongzi. What's your real name? Just then, sitting under a chair, a handsome young man wearing a four-clawed python robe suddenly spoke out. Chen Mo followed the sound and saw a majestic face, which looked similar to his own at the age of 18 or 19. However, his long-held high-position temperament made people feel awe-stricken. Your Highness, the servant's name is Chen Hong, Chen Mo said respectfully, with a hint of fear in his voice. Suddenly, the man stood up and patted his shoulder with one hand. Chen Madden felt a strange force rush into his body, warm and radiant. But soon a huge pain came from his shoulder, causing Chen Mo to kneel on the ground and sweat profusely in pain. But at this moment, Chen Mo ignored the pain and quickly knelt down to beg for mercy from the man. Although he didn't know where he offended the crown prince, his life was not worth it and he had no right to question the crown prince. In short, begging for mercy is over. At the same time, the system's prompt sound also sounded in my mind. Ding! Orange talent has been expanded, Chonger, what are you doing? Today is your sister's birthday and we can't see any blood. Xiao Yunxi was also startled by Zhao Chang's sudden move. Brother, what's wrong? Zhao Fujin also stared at Zhao Chong with wide eyes. As he arched his hand towards Xiao Yunxi, Zhao Chong Gong said in a respectful voice, Mother, it was my son who misread me. I thought Xiao Hongzi was a famous warrior. A rainbow flashed through Zhao Chang's eyes. After finishing speaking, Zhao Chong threw a jade bottle from his sleeve and robe to Chen Mo, saying, Apply it once in the morning or evening, and it will improve in two days. Thank you very much, Your Highness the Crown Prince. Chen Mo felt that he couldn't lift his entire right shoulder, but soon he felt the pain in his right shoulder gradually dissipate. Zai Hongzi, you go down and rest first. Although all of this was just Zhao Chang's speculation, Xiao Yunxi would definitely not blame his son for being a eunuch. No. After Chen Mo put down the wooden knife and explained that it was used to cut cakes, he withdrew it. Outer Hall. Watching Chen Mo walk out with injuries, Wang Ying was startled and quickly asked what had happened. When she found out that it was just a probe, she breathed a sigh of relief and left the palace, saying, Little Chen, you're lucky. Your Highness is now a fourth-level expert. If he really wants your life, with your physique, he would have died long ago, let alone given medicine. Wang Ying said a lot, in short, don't let Chen Mo hold a grudge against His Highness the Crown Prince. You are really a good lackey. Chen Mo smiled bitterly and said, I dare not. Daring not is the best, otherwise, your life and death are the matter of the crown prince's words, Wang Ying said and left. Looking at Wang Ying's back, Chen Mo's eyes suddenly darkened. End of this chapter Chapter 9 The Body of Yang Spirit 
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 The Body of Yang Spirit The Queen's Dormitory Chongr, what exactly happened? Xiao Yunxi believed that his son would not shoot without reason. Zhao Fujin also raised his ears curiously. Mother, I can see a trace of evil energy on this little eunuch, Zhao Chong said slowly. You should know that evil energy usually only exists on ghosts and those who have fought on the battlefield and killed people. How could he have it as a eunuch? Upon hearing this, Xiao Yunxi frowned and immediately said, Yesterday I heard from Wang Ying that Xia Hongzi went home to mourn a while ago. His parents died, and his hometown was also flooded by a flood. Could it be that he got infected at that time? He's so pitiful, Zhao Fujin said beside him. In her perception, being a eunuch was already pitiful, and now her parents have died again. Zhao Fujin couldn't help but feel sympathy for Qin Masheng. It's possible. Zhao Chong frowned and immediately said, however, Empress Dowager, an ordinary person with evil energy cannot live long. In order to avoid causing some bad luck, Empress Dowager should change someone to serve. Xiao Yunxi nodded and immediately sighed, saying, Unfortunately, there aren't many kind-hearted people around this palace. Last night, Qing was also killed by your father's cane. I've heard about this, seducing the emperor, damn it, Zhao Chongdao said. Alas, our palace hopes that Qing er can seduce his majesty. Chong er, as you know, your father has not stayed overnight in our palace for many years, so he always comes to see and leaves. Xiao Yunxi looked worried and said, You say, is this palace old enough to attract your father? Mother is not old, in Fujin's heart, she is the most beautiful. Zhao Fujin hugged Xiao Yunxi's arm and said sweetly. Zhao Chong said, seemingly feeling sorry for the Empress Dowager, and said, If there are really no caring people around her, there's no need to drive Xia Hongzi away. Hmm. Just let him practice, Zhao Chong said. Although he has a demonic aura, his bones are excellent. If he practices true qi, he should have achieved some success. In addition, he is a person without roots, such a flawed person, and he started his cultivation late. Even if he achieves something, it will not be too high, which is convenient for the mother to control. There is one more sentence that Zhao Chong did not say. As a eunuch without power or influence, he can only rely on his own master, so he will not easily betray. Do you practice? Xiao Yinxi pondered. The rules in the imperial palace did not prohibit eunuchs from practicing. On the contrary, eunuchs who entered the imperial examination were eagerly sought by various palaces, but those who entered the imperial examination had to be registered and registered as exceptions. Moreover, these eunuchs did not like to serve in the harem and would choose to enter the east and west factories to serve his majesty. After all, in the harem, the mortality rate of eunuchs is surprisingly high. What techniques can Chonga recommend? Xiao Yunxi asked. Isn't there a Hain Heart Sutra for Empress Dowager, which records both Zihua and Muhua? As long as Empress Dowager gives him the version of Zihua's Hain Heart Sutra, and Empress Dowager holds the Muhua, even if his level behind him is really higher than that of Empress Dowager, Empress Dowager can easily control him. Zhao Chong thought for a moment and said. He also added, the Hain Heart Sutra is a lower level skill in the heavenly rank, and Empress Dowager can still make him show gratitude to you. Zhao Fujin looked at his brother with some fear and thought to himself, my brother is worthy of being appointed as the crown prince by his father. He is so cunning. Think about it in this palace, after returning to his room, Chenimo took out the jade bottle given by Zhao Chong and opened it to smell. A slightly pungent medicinal smell surged out. Chenimo frowned. But soon my heart relaxed. If Zhao Chong really wants him to die, just use his tongue and don't bother, give him medicine. Therefore, after applying the medicine, Chenimo began his second simulation today. Current Available Talents Young Spirit Body, Green Rainbow True Eye, Water Spirit Body, and Stone Rock Body 
Please select the last three talents above and activate the cultivation simulation. Chenimo widened his eyes. Good guy, four orange talents came out at once. No, it should be two. The young spirit body and the blue rainbow true eye are expanded upon. Chen Mo looked at descriptions such as the young spirit body. Young spirit body, orange. A relatively excellent Ding Furnace constitution that can nourish others to enhance one's own strength, but those who are replenished will die. During the process of replenishing, it is easy to find and can only nourish martial artists with Yin Cold constitution, which has significant defects. Qing Hong True Eyes, Orange. Able to see through the cultivation roots and bones of others, including evil energy, killing energy, and life, and has a certain probability of seeing a person's qi fortune clearly. Water Spirit Body, Orange. It has a twice the effect of half the effort on the cultivation of water attributes, making rapid progress. Stone Rock Body, Orange. It has a twice as effective effect on cultivating physical and soil attributes, and its defense is amazing. Good guy. Don't think about it. Empress Xiao definitely possesses a young spirit body. No wonder they will make up for it. The reason has been found. In addition to the fixed battle saint. Chen Nemo also chose the blue rainbow eye, the stone rock body, and an ordinary blue talent. Then come up with a rough idea in your mind and do this simulation direction. Last time we experimented, if we didn't practice, we could indeed live longer, and our fake eunuch identity was not exposed. But what's the point of that? Have you been living humbly in the palace all this time? Always serving others? Still constantly worried and fearful, afraid of revealing one's identity? If that's the case, then be a bit reckless and see what happens if you practice directly without hiding anything at the beginning. Of course, one cannot practice in the palace, as it will be taken by the empress for cultivation. On the first day, a great upheaval arrived, and various parts of the Song dynasty raised the horn of uprisings. The heavens were already dead, and Huang Tian was standing. You managed to leave the palace and the imperial capital, on the second day, you comprehended the Hain Heart Sutra and became a ninth grade warrior. Third day. You are on your way. On the fourth day. You registered to join the army in Qingshan City as your original identity. On the fifth day. With the strength of a ninth grade warrior, you received high importance in the army and became a commander of ten. Day six. You performed exceptionally well during training. Day 7. You still performed exceptionally well during training. On the 8th day, the rebellion has spread to Qingshan City. You will join the army to suppress the rebellion. In the war, you comprehended the murderous aura and broke through to the 8th grade warrior on the 9th day, the rebellion in Qingshan City was quelled, and you were promoted to Centurion for your outstanding performance in suppressing the rebellion. That night, Qingshan City held a celebration banquet, and you fell in love with the Lord's daughter at first sight. The Lord also intended to match up, day 10. A large number of rebels attacked Qingshan City, the city was destroyed, and you died. This cultivation simulation is over, and you can permanently retain a cultivation talent and solidify it in the real world. The cultivation simulation has ended. The simulation time is 10 days. Cooldown time. 100 minutes. End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Golden Talent Expansion. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10 Golden Talent Expansion has Qingshan City also been affected by the rebellion. This Song Dynasty is getting cooler. You should know that Qingshan City is only a few hundred miles away from Bianliang and is an important town. Combined with Chen Mo's previous simulation, the entire Nanyang County was destroyed. Looking at the entire scene, this is a two-sided attack on the capital. However, Chen Mo also discovered an issue. Since I developed disgust towards the rebels, the system has defined them as rebels. It seems that the system will make changes based on its subjective consciousness. 
Since the Song dynasty wanted to cool down, why not join the rebel army and try it yourself? The So. called princes, generals, and ministers would rather have seeds. Who doesn't have a dream of becoming an emperor and paying homage to a king? In addition, Chen Emo had also read many historical novels before his travels. Aren't many protagonists becoming emperors step by step like this? He thinks he can give it a try in the next simulation. But now, Chen Emo first locked down the talent of the stone rock body. In fact, what he prefers more is Qing Hong Jinyin. But this talent is expanded from His Highness the Crown Prince. If he locks it in, there won't be any better talent in the future. Once it's fixed, he might be discovered by the Crown Prince, and then Barbie Q will be there. But just as Chen Emo was waiting for the cooling time, Your Highness, Emperor Ji, Xiao Chenzi lives here. Wang Ying's respectful and slightly flattering voice came from outside the room. The sound is very low, it should still be far away. Chen Emo was able to hear it all thanks to the Holy Communion of Fighting. Well, I got it. Your Highness Empress Dowager, wait. So what's going on? Your precious body, how can you enter such a lowly place where rootless people live? This will damage your highness's identity, said Wang Ying. Cluck, you're really interesting. You're actually cursing yourself, Zhao Fujin chuckled. In the room, Chen Emo heard Wang Ying's words with a black line on his face. Damn it, I'm not a rootless person, you are. Blame yourself, you are also a talented person. Quickly, the door was pushed open, and Wang Ying walked in, speaking in a sharp voice, Xiao Chenzi, the Empress Dowager has come down. Why don't you come down and welcome His Highness? When Chen Emo heard the sound, he tidied up, put on his shoes, and was about to kneel down respectfully. A coquettish laugh rang out. No gift. In an instant, Chen Emo saw a stunning young girl in front of him, dressed in snowy clothes, with wide sleeves flying high, her beautiful eyes as clear as autumn water, her delicate dimples as white as condensed fat, her eyebrows and eyes slightly curved, like a peaceful crescent moon. Your Highness, Empress Xie. Chen Emo bowed and glanced at Wang Ying, trying to figure out why Zhao Fujin came over. Who knew that Wang Ying felt as if she hadn't seen it? He he, don't be polite. Zhao Fujin smiled and immediately looked at a chair. Before she could sit down, Wang Ying rushed over and first patted it with a brush, then wiped it with her sleeve before moving in front of Zhao Fujin. Chen Emo, dot. Thank you. Zhao Fujin didn't mind and sat down. But this frightened Wang Ying quite a bit. Your Highness, you have killed the old servant. This is what the servant should do. Zhao Fujin no longer paid attention to Wang Ying. Like the people he served around him, he liked to make his own decisions without any meaning. She looked at Chen Emo and said, The cake you made is very delicious. My mother, my brother, and I both like it. Tell me, what reward do you want? Serving the Empress and His Highness is what I should do as a servant, without seeking any rewards. Chen Emo was diligent and eager to learn, and after being exposed to it several times, he also knew how to flatter. No, if I say I want to give you a reward, I want to give you a reward. Speak quickly, Zhao Fujin said deliberately with a stern face. Chen Mo, Sigma, that, your highness gave it, and even the maids like it. Chen Mo didn't know what he wanted, and it was also a question of whether it was more or less. Hmm, let me think, it was Zhao Fujin's turn to find it a bit difficult. She really wanted to reward Chen Mo, so she asked him. What he wants is completely a matter of one sentence for himself, but Zhao Fujin really doesn't know what to give him. And she doesn't bring any money when she goes out. I scanned around and saw Chen Mo still looking at me. Zhao Fujin bit his lip, took off a white jade pendant tied around his waist, and personally handed it to Chen Mo, saying, This spiritual jade was given to me by my mother, and now it's for you. Chen Mo, you said it was given to me by the Empress, and you still gave it to me. Do I dare to take it? After a moment of murmuring in his heart, 
Chenemo bowed and said, This was given to His Highness by the Empress Dowager. How dare I ask for it? Please take it back, Your Highness Empress Dowager. Didn't you say you liked everything I gave you? No, that sounds strange. Just as Chen Emo didn't know how to answer, Zhao Fujin directly put the jade pendant into Chen Mo's hand and immediately said, Of course, this jade pendant is not for free. Can you tell me how this birthday cake is made? Ding! The golden talent has been expanded at the moment of contact. The system's prompt sound is on. Chenemo widened his eyes. Golden talent. He died young. How could this Empress Dowager have a golden talent? Her brother and mother are still just talented in orange. But your highness, I really dare not accept this jade pendant, Chenemo said with a bitter smile. Xiao Chenzi, what's wrong with you? Your highness has rewarded you with something that you dare to repeatedly refuse. Wang Ying angrily rebuked. Chen Emo, dot. Good guy. It seems like you caused it all by yourself. Unable to do anything, Chen Emo had to accept it and then told Zhao Fujin the recipe for making a birthday cake. Your Highness, first prepare eggs, sheep's milk, flour, and sugar. Then the egg whites and yolks need to be separated, and the egg whites should be whipped together. Zhao Fujin's head widened after listening and said, It's so complicated that I won't make it. If I want to eat it in the future, I'll come find you. Chen Emo nodded. Then Zhao Fujin chatted with Chen Emo for a few more words before leaving. After seeing off Zhao Fujin, Wang Ying returned. Just now, facing Zhao Fujin's hunched waist, he instantly straightened up and said, Xiao Chenzi, it's not bad. Even His Highness Empress Dowager Ji has personally come to this servant room to find you. When you become prosperous in the future, don't forget our family. As he spoke, he shook the dust and a strong force burst out, leaving a hole in the blue stone slabs laid on the ground. Martial man, Chen Emo narrowed his eyes slightly and quickly bowed to flattery, Wang Gonggong, what are you saying? If it weren't for Wang Gonggong giving me the opportunity, I wouldn't have received such treatment. Speaking, I will give the ling you given by Zhao Fujin to Wang Ying. This jade pendant is a hot potato. Wang Ying dared not ask for the things that Empress Ku gave Chen Emo. Not only did she refuse, but she also said grandly, Little Chen, what kind of person do you think of our family? End of this chapter